finally, after months in the making, I present to you this build. Hey babes, welcome back to another video. I almost choked on air because you can do that apparently and that doesn't make any sense. Wow, we're starting off this video real great. Um, welcome. So this, if you don't watch my other videos or are still confused, even though it says it in the title, today I am building the house, the house, a house, wow, from one of my favorite shows, not one of my favorite shows, my favorite show ever, Being Human, the US version, you are, what? Exactly. <laughs> wow. So, <coughs> I've actually had the, f like, beginning part that you're seeing right now. I started, I built that in December of 2019 it is currently March 7th, 2020. So, and I finished it today. So it's not like it just took a long time. It's just that I was all like, I'll get to it eventually. It was very difficult because there are no pictures. Like there's like no pictures of the inside online because it, it's not as popular of a show as like, you know, Wizards of Waverly Place or something. So, um, the more recent parts, I just did it based off of memory. So, if you have never seen the show Being Human, the US version, even though the UK version literally is, like, the same plot, um, I'll tell you, because you probably haven't watched it. So, it is about, um, a vampire and a werewolf who move in to the house that I'm building, and there's a ghost living there, and so they just try to be human. I think the title really sums it up, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I ended up changing the house a lot. Um, but the house in the show changes a lot, too. I think it gets burned. They set a fire twice, season one and then season four. They, like, burn it down. And then it gets renovated, like, every season. And so I just put a mixture of, like, all the seasons in. If any of you have watched the show, please leave a comment down below because I'd love to find someone to talk about it with. Um, it broke my heart when it left Netflix last year in January. It was very heartbreaking uh, because I loved that show. I It's been my favorite show for the past like four years now. Um, and I, I found it on YouTube, but it only, but it stuck. So there's four seasons and what I found online, it has almost every season one episode except for the finale. And it has uh, most of season two, but it stops at episode eight. So they have episode eight and then they just stopped. And I was like, no, because season three is my favorite season. Like if I could buy one season of the show to watch it, I would buy season three because it's my favorite. I really like it. Um, so yeah, the show was on sci-fi from 2011 to 2014 had four seasons. I don't know what else, the, the, wow. <laughs> I don't know what else I could really say about it besides like, I really like it. I don't want to spoil it for you because I really want you to watch it if you've never seen it. If, I mean, if it interests you in any sort of way, it's, it's a supernatural show because I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, but if you have, then you know that I like supernatural TV shows. <laughs> but yeah. But I really like it. Uh, season 4 was trash. Season 2 was okay. Um, season 1 is just like a slower pace version of season 1 of the UK version, which originally it aired in... It was a show that was aired in the UK. There was like a UK version of it. This was in 2009 or 8 that started. I, I watched it. It's... Okay, I hate all the characters but the vampire in the UK version. Every single one of them trash. Though the ghost is okay, I, I just can't deal with them for more than like three seconds at a time. It was terrible. So yeah, this show is great. I love it. I'm trying to think of things to say about it without spoiling it because I want you to watch it. And then after you watch it, I'll make a video that's a bunch of spoilers. But, I don't know. So, yeah, um, this part you're seeing here is me basing it off of pictures that I actually saw. This is 
a picture from season one, I believe. And I'm looking at what you're seeing right now. Wow. Good job. Even though the cat statue, uh, which, by the way, they have a cat that wears a hockey mask. They call it Cat Dog with Hockey Mask. Because why not? Uh, it's never said in the show, but it was a, like, behind-the-scenes thing. Don't ask me why I know it, because I literally don't know. Um, yeah. I added that, even though that wasn't there in the season one picture, but I don't care. So, ha. Uh, yep, bop, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna talk about the show, but then I was all like, wait, I don't want to spoil it, though. Because, like, that would be stupid. I want you to watch it if possible, though you'd have to pay money for it, and that sucks because it's not on any streaming service that you can subscribe to for free. <sighs> you have to literally buy it, and I'm like, bruh, I don't want to. But you can watch the UK version on Amazon Prime Video, the streaming service-y thing. They have every episode of the UK version, which is close enough, you know? Um... Fun, I'm trying to think of some fun facts. Um, fun fact, the vampire character in the U.S. version, Aiden, is named after, his name is named after the U.K. actor, who Aiden Turner, who played the vampire in the U.K. version, whose name was Mitchell, if you want to know. So I thought that was cool, and yeah... <laughs> Wow, uh, I could, like, uh, could I describe the characters? Is that a spoiler? I don't know what a spoiler, what, like, the definition of a spoiler is. So, you know what? I'm just going to describe the characters because I think I can do that without spoiling it. So, who will I start with? Um, okay, we'll start with the ghost. The ghost, her name is Sally Malik. Um, she... They, I don't know what ages any of them are, except for the vampire, because they always have to say how old the vampire is. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I'll never get it, because in a bunch of vampire shows, like, you know the vampire's age, but then all the rest of the characters, you're like, how old are you? But the description of it says they're like 20-something, so we'll just say a 20-something. She, she seems like the youngest one to me. Um, so she's dead. At the beginning of the show, she's been dead for six months. Yeah, that's all I can really say about her without spoilers. Um, and then the vampire, Aiden. What's his last name? Wait, or something. Um, he was uh, turned into a vampire during the Revolutionary War. And that's, that's it. He, he, he doesn't, like, he doesn't kill people. I don't remember what the reason was. I don't think they ever really described the reason why he doesn't kill people or drink their blood. Because he, he um, so the werewolf and the vampire, they work at a hospital. And uh, the vampire, he's a nurse. And he gets like, he steals blood, like blood bags. And he just drinks that. Um, but I, I don't remember them ever explaining a reason why he didn't, and that's weird. So if you watch the show and you figure that out, please tell me, because I don't remember. And then uh, the uh, the last character, Josh Levin Levinson? Levinson? I don't... Levinson. We're going with Levinson. Uh, he, uh, he's a werewolf. Wow. <laughs> um, he... Uh, is from New York. I don't know what else to say. The show takes place in Boston, in Massachusetts. And he's from New York. Wow. Uh, he, uh, was gonna become, he went to middle school, school, but then when he became a werewolf, he dropped out. So he's not like a nurse or anything. He's just a janitor at the hospital. And the ghost doesn't work because she's dead. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I mean, uh, that's that's basically it. And then later on, there's a new character, but I'm not going to spoil it because giving away any of that is a spoiler. Um, yeah, so season three is definitely my favorite season. If you're going to watch a season, watch season three. Maybe find the first episode of season one to watch so you, like, sort of understand what's happening. 
season three is great. So season three, pretty much, it's like a be careful what you wish for type season. So, um, like, uh, the ghost, Sally, she wishes she wasn't a ghost and wants to be alive. So, like, she gets resurrected. And then uh, Josh, the werewolf, he doesn't want to be a werewolf. So he's not a werewolf anymore. And then uh, the vampire, Aiden, he doesn't like other vampires. He just wishes, like, he could just separate himself from the other vampires. And so he... And so what happens is, like, we start up and there's a, like, virus going around that if vampires drink the blood of someone who had the virus, they die. So it's like a vampire apocalypse thing, but it's only apocalypse within the vampires, not like there's a, not like a zombie apocalypse, but instead of zombies, it's vampires. I'm confusing myself now. Wow. And that was very hard to say without spoilers because you don't really understand why it's a be careful what you wish for without me getting into spoiler territory at all. I can tell you, even though this is a spoiler, it's not like a major plotline spoiler, that Sally, the ghost, her be careful for what you wish for is um, basically that like she, like she gets resurrected, but then she's not allowed to see any person that she knew before she died or else they'll die and then so she goes to who resurrected her and wants that to be switched and get switched into something else which is still be careful what you wish for but if you want to know what that is you gotta watch season three of being human us so yeah um the show was filmed in canada here's another fact um i don't have any other facts at all good job um i don't know well <laughs> um i just really like the show i wish i could describe why i like it so much but i really don't want to give any spoilers especially because this is a show where i know probably no one in my audience has seen it so i can't be like oh this is spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it because then everyone would have to turn off their audio. I mean, unless you really don't want to see it. In which case, I can make another video. I'm planning on making another video where I just really get to talk about it. Because I have some things that I want to talk about. But no one else will listen to me. Because they don't care. They're all like, we don't know anything about this show. And we don't care. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> um, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Uh... The show has a lot of actors and act like actors that have been in a lot of other things. It's it was filmed in Canada, and uh, since I started watching the show, I noticed that all the characters like have been in other things except for the, I haven't seen the ghost in anything else. Her brother, yes, uh, her brother has been in a bunch of things. Her brother, the actress's brother, actually play, played her brother on the show. He was also in a few other things. I believe he was on Supergirl, but I don't remember. And he was in my old favorite show in an episode in season two, which, oh no, I may not. I may make the house of my favorite show, my old favorite show that was my favorite show for like, I don't know, it was like seven years. No, it would be six years before I found this show and it became my favorite show. It was My Baby Sears of Vampire. It was on Disney Channel. Or if only in the US and Canada was on something different and wasn't on the Disney Channel. And it's not a Disney Channel show, technically. And the movie isn't a Disney Channel movie. But in the US, it just aired on the Disney Channel. I don't know. It's confusing. I could talk about it in another video. But we're about to... Wow. We're about to wrap it up. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I couldn't wait to talk about this show. I love this show so much and watch it. Bye!